Ellicott City's Main Street poised to reopen. Is it good news? Is it a step forward? That depends on who you ask. It's just one block of Main Street closed since the deadly flood, cutting this historic district in half. Can't wait to see what else is happening down there and to visit businesses that I haven't been down on that end yet. It's reopening on Friday, but creating more division in the process. Those of us who are open, uh, clearly the more traffic, the better. Some business owners, like Michael Koplau of The Clayground, believe any attention will help. They'll see that it's coming back, they'll see that there's still some vibrancy, that it's not just all boarded up windows, and I think that that kind of works to everyone's benefit in the long run. But ask Brenda Franz, who owns the shop around the corner. I'm not really open. My doors are open because I'm working in there. And she'll tell you straight up, it's a step backwards. Because I will need to get a large dumpster in here. I will need to have five or six different subs coming in here. And where are they going to park? It is happening Friday, 10 days earlier than anticipated and by executive order. And we are being very sensitive to those who are still working on their businesses, still either cleaning out or starting to reconstruct, and we will do everything we can to make it better for them. This comes amid what appears to be bipartisan consensus in county government, support for a bill to freeze development in the Tiber watershed, which means building sites like this one along Montgomery Road, across from Longgate Shopping Center, that we've watched being readied for construction, will now sit idle for some time. The development up there on Longgate is not moving forward right now. Of course, it will be subject to the building moratorium, uh, pause for at least a year. And so uh, we're very careful to make sure nobody is building in the watershed. No new building here as the rebuilding continues here. A word of caution from county officials. Once Main Street does reopen, it will remain active with construction and contractors and heavy equipment. In Elegant City, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.